Okay, we've got another trappy layout, which I think. I think we've got a unit response to that, but I'm so happy there's snow. It's really good on one hand. Um, that's an easy. Okay, thanks. Let's so head over there. It's really good on one hand. I do love the snow, playing in the snow, but it's also extremely dangerous when we have people driving down the highway. It's, it just causes so many incidents. I'm just going to knock on the door there. On the one hand, thank you. Can to close the door behind you. Uh, on the one hand, it's really great to play around snowball fights, but on the other hand, it's extremely dangerous from a, you know, safety point of view. Um, yeah, thank you. What did you need me for? Uh, we've had a lot of snow ice over the last couple of nights, so there's more for forecast for tomorrow. Is there? Wow, that's... I thought we were only getting one or two days of snow, but it's nearly been a week. Um, we'll need to go and plow the highway before this is... Yeah, yeah, okay, I understand. We've got a call on the highway, I think someone's actually taking that, though. Okay, perfect. Uh, when are we heading out? I guess uh, the rush hour sort of starts in an hour and a half, so if we head out before that, then we'll get before the traffic and we won't cause too much um, delays on the highway. Okay, 10 minutes, perfect. You want me to go and get geared up and uh, inform everyone on this, or would you like to do that yourself? Okay, perfect. Uh, yep, see you in 10. See you in 10. Okay. Uh, let me just go head out over here and inform everyone of the situation. Not surprised that we're doing this. We've been doing some sweeping the last few days, but yeah. Just gather everyone over here real quick. Uh, just gather everyone over here. Alright, uh, okay, I think we want most people. Alright, we got a couple more people. Okay. Anyways, I uh, just wanted to inform you, boss said we're heading out. We're bringing the salters out. Two salters on Highway 55. We're going out in about 10 minutes or so before the rush hours start. Yeah, wrap up. It's going to be nice and cold. Um, if we can get everything ready and sorted, we're heading out in 10 minutes, okay? I'm going to go and get myself a nice warm drink to keep in my cab while we're heading out. And then I think we're bringing three or four vehicles. Uh, yeah, four vehicles. That's uh, what we normally bring out. We're going to keep that in my cab with me, keep myself warm. And it should be roughly an hour's journey there and back on Highway 55. And we've got another team working on... Uh, Riverside, so that will save us a bit of time. We'll come back. Most likely need to refill after that, and we'll be heading out later today. Uh, I think that they said there was a snowstorm coming tomorrow. Let's check the gas tank. Okay, perfect, perfect. Right, we'll be again ready in a second. Good morning. You ready, Ted? Out. Yeah, make sure to wrap up nice and warm. I think it's uh, negative. I don't know, negative three or four degrees the last time I checked. Okay, all right. Uh, see you out there. See you out there. Don't know where boss is, but they're probably getting ready as well. Right, let's just close the doors behind us. We're going to open up these as well. Uh, there we go. Saves and have to get out of the vehicles. Hey, uh, I think we're all ready. Both salters loaded up. Are we heading with the normal route? I think so, at least. That would save us a lot of time. Do you know how treacherous the conditions are expected to be on the highway? I haven't really been out this morning except for driving to work. Poor visibility. Okay, yeah, right. Um, okay, we'll turn on the fog lights, I guess, then. Those will be useful. Alright, uh, see you on the road. See you on the road there. Well, on the radios, at least. Okay, opening up the doors. Perfect. Let's hop in and uh, get going. Let's go and turn on the headlights as well. We've got poor visibility. We'll go and put on the warning lights as well and the floodlights. My goodness me, this is this is treacherous conditions. Right, we'll go and uh, follow there. Okay, I'm not even sure if I can make this turn. Really hard to get traction in this weather as well with the the roads being so icy and slippery. Okay, uh, let's make this turn here. Visibility is absolutely horrific right now. I'm barely able to see to the end of the road here. Yeah, we're not going to be driving too fast. These, oh my goodness me, even it's really hard braking as well. Uh, okay, you're going to need to help me when we reach intersections. It's really hard to see myself. We're falling a bit behind, but I can still see the vehicle in the distance there. My goodness me, I'm really surprised the river hasn't iced over. Maybe it has. I really cannot see uh, too much. Uh, road's clear, right? Is your side clear? Okay, we're good. Okay, turning now, turning now. We've got our headlights on and our fog lights because we're definitely going to be needing those here. I'd be really surprised if people are actually driving. Oh, no, they're, yep, just as I said that people are driving these conditions. Really good that they've got their headlights on. We've issued notices, Department of Transportation and uh, River City Council have been uh, issuing notices. Like there is ice all over this place here. We've been issuing um, warnings to people, stay inside, only drive if you need to, because it's like, I can barely see in front of myself. And if uh, there are inexperienced drivers on the road, that's really dangerous here. Uh, so we're gonna head onto the highway now. I can barely see the overpass. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. So other vehicles behind. We're going to be keeping a speed very, very low speed today. Right, it's even a struggle coming to a stop or even slowing down on these corners here. And yeah, definitely worth putting the winter tires on. Even with a vehicle as heavy as this and as powerful as this, it's really hard controlling this in the winter here. There's snow coming all over the place, right? 
Uh, okay, so we'll be going on the right side here. They're going to be joining on the left side. I'm just going to stop for a moment, get everyone set up here. Okay, I'm going to put the salter on there. That's on now. Okay, putting the plow down. This will be to the right side. Perfect. Okay, perfect. So they're going to drive a bit in front. Anything they sweep, it's going to. I'm going to sweep and then onto the side. So we're just, there we go. Perfect. All right. Uh, so we're going to be driving around 25 miles an hour here, which is roughly the maximum speed we can go because we do not want to hold tra up traffic too much. Right, it is very, very cold there. So they're blocking off the roads. Seems to be pretty quiet, which is good, which is good here. We do not want much traffic. I'm just, just going to put this on. Uh, the more lights we have on, the better, essentially. We have got an arrow board behind us, which is stopping traffic. You can see a couple of cars behind there. And I think that's also a sheriff. Uh, hopefully we're not getting in their way. Yeah, AC is, no, AC is not on. Uh, no, I put on the heating. We do have heated seats in this, which is a very nice perk of driving one of these salters. Right, anywho, so there, there we go. Nice formation on the highway. Uh, we're going to be heading around on the highway, turn around at the end, and then come back down. It should be an hour trip, roughly. Um, it's really hard. Like, I can barely see the uh, command vehicle in front of us. Uh, they've got their lights on. That's probably uh, how I'm just able to see them. But it's treacherous conditions here. It's not even, like, the dead of winter yet. Uh, we're only like a couple days into December, which is actually crazy. Yeah, put on some Christmas music. That would be lovely, thanks. There's one of the new billboards that we've uh, recently been installing around the highway. I don't think they've actually... No, they haven't turned them on at the moment. It's just the uh, Roadblocks logo on them. Anyways, oh my goodness me, that's a car. Oh my goodness me, right. Okay. Okie dokie, you're good. You're good. My goodness, they rammed right into us. Uh, right, that was a hard hit. My knee went up into the steering wheel. Okay, all right. Uh, you able to hop out of the vehicle? My gosh, what happened there? Two, three vehicles collided. Uh, okay, all right. Come on, come on, come out my side. Come on, my side. Open the door. There you go. Just come out my side. Are you able to come out? All right, there you go. Okay. Uh, right. What happened there? Is someone just speeding? They came onto the side of the highway. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Everyone else okay? Uh, right, what happened? Oh, hold on, yeah, let me, let me t turn off the soldier, actually. Yeah, did they come into us? Okay, right, right, right. People don't see this, but yeah, they're gonna be crashing, right. No, I'm not hurt, no, I'm not hurt. Okay, everyone in your vehicles, everyone in your vehicles, please. If more people get on the highway, this is getting really dangerous. All right, everyone in their vehicles. Can we get this unit moved, please? Okay, let's get this mo unit moved here. Let's keep one of the lanes open, at least. Well, the more... Yeah, we're going to cause the tail back if we do this. All right, everyone in your vehicles. Let's go. Everyone in your vehicles. We're going to get you moving along. In your vehicles. Let's go. Uh, officer, can you move your units? We're going to open the second lane, please. Jeez. Yeah, they slammed against the front windshield. All right. Uh, okay, officers are helping them. FD should be here soon. Okay, let's go. Get this lane open. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get people through. Let's get people through. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I can see the sky. The sun's probably up there, but it's just so cold. Let's go. Let's get everyone moving here. Yeah, we're moving. No, let's keep that this side. That's fine. That's fine. Just uh, beware. Keep out of the way of the engines coming through. Right. So, yeah, a lot of damage done. Well, not too much to my vehicle. I just got kind of hit by the other vehicle coming past. Um, yeah, not too much damage. It's going to need a long time to repair, but we have got other vehicles we can use. Let's go get the traffic moving along nicely, please. All right. Bit of a chaotic scene here. Main thing we want to make sure is that no other civilians um, get involved in this. We don't want any other cars coming along, skidding out of control. And from the looks of it, we had someone over there on the other side of the highway, and apparently it looks like there's a big kind of chunk of ice almost sitting on the highway, and that could be due to the fact that there's a lake right over here. All right, we've got a blanket here that they can, or a jacket, insulated jacket. There you go. Uh, if you just want to put that jacket over them, keep them warm. Luckily, though, everyone seems to be wearing appropriate clothing, so that'll keep them warm, but yeah, it's really chilly out here, especially if you're just lying on the solid uh, ground here. From the looks of it, we had two vehicles from the other side of the highway. They hit a patch of ice and kind of went into our vehicles and almost like bounced back onto the other side of the highway. Those two vehicles over there, that yellow Aldi and uh, green pickup, I think those two vehicles were involved in the collision. I think the green pickup was after. I remember the yellow Aldi uh, kind of going into us and spun the vehicles essentially 180 degrees around. Uh, not too much damage to ours, mainly a lot of damage to this uh, snowplow here. They were hit first. Okay, yeah, we've got one lane open on each side of the highway, so that's good at least. Still gonna be a bit of a bottleneck, but at least if we can get traffic moving along slightly, then that's better than nothing. And as we speak of it, there we go, so there's the tow truck. Perfect, we can get some vehicles moving along here. 
Yeah, currently having a look at the vehicles there. I definitely think there's something going on this side of the highway. Right. Right. I'm just looking for... There should be some ice around here or something that they slipped on. Since there is a lake right there, not a lot of water evaporating. Definitely feels a lot icy under here. Uh, like, I mean, even when you're walking, I don't think you can see the ice, but there's definitely... The surface is a lot more slippery over here. If you have vehicles coming 80 miles an hour, uh, 70, even 75 miles an hour around this corner, they're, of course, going to, well, end up on the other side of the road if they don't uh, take this corner properly. We've got quite a few snow piles along here. Uh, there's a lot of ice uh, on this side of the road here, like non-visible ice, but I just feel like the road's a really slippery surface at the moment. They're towing the vehicles now, right? And if you have people, I think, I think those drivers that uh, collided into the snow plows, they were obviously going at the speed limit, which is not recommended in this weather, like 60, 75 miles an hour. And at that speed, there is no way you're taking this uh, corner properly. I think we should, uh, once we clear this up, uh, just keep one of these lanes closed off for the moment. Yeah, essentially, I'm just guessing they lost control of the vehicle. They were going too fast. Apparently, I was talking to one of the uh, officers, and uh, they were saying that there was no signs indicating for people to slow down. We may want to have a look at that, because either it got removed or just no one placed on there. Uh, okay, let's cross back over, just check out what's doing on the other side. We've got the Aldi being removed now. I think that's the most damage to the vehicle. Firefighters are working, get everyone loaded up into the ambulances now. We're getting another salter down. Still got a couple of cars on the highway. Um, the main big problem is going to be rush hour, which is, well, a lot of cars coming down the highway in about 30 minutes or so. So we just got to make sure we don't cause too much of a bottleneck during that uh, peak uh, driving time. Anyways, thank you everyone so much for watching this video. Really hope you did enjoy. If you did, please do go and consider subscribing to help out the channel a lot. Must thanks for having taken part in today's video. If you'd like to be in future videos, go and join my Discord servers and Robert Scoops. Links in the description below. Anyways, have a great day and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.